In this problem, we need to find the percent of the distance from the Earth to the Moon that a satellite has to be so that the gravitational pull from the Earth and the gravitational pull from the Moon will balance. Well, I'll start by drawing a picture. This will be the Earth, and this will be the Moon. And this will be the total distance between them. I'll call this RT. Now I need to figure out where I want to draw my satellite. Well, I know that the Earth has much more mass than the Moon, so in order for the gravitational pull to balance, the satellite will have to be closer to the Moon than the Earth. So I'll just draw this here. I'll say that this, from the satellite to the Earth, will be RE. And so this point, from the satellite to the Moon, will be RM. Now I ultimately need to find the percent of the distance from the Earth to the Moon that the satellite is going to be. So it'll be RE divided by the total distance, RT, and that'll give me some percent. So I'll call this L. This will be equal to RE over RT. Now I also know that R total, RT, is going to be equal to the distance from the Earth to the satellite, RE, plus the distance from the Moon to the satellite, RM. So now I can actually write some force equations. I know that the force from gravity is equal to g, which is a constant, times mass of the large object times mass of the small object, all over the distance between them squared. So for the Earth, I'll call this Fe, and I'll draw it coming from the satellite as well. This is going to be equal to g times the mass of the Earth times the mass of the satellite over the distance between the Earth and the satellite is Re. So it'll be Re squared. I know that the force from the Moon, I'll call Fm, and I'll draw its force vector. This will be Fm. So Fm will be equal to g mass of the Moon times mass of the satellite all over Rm squared. Now I'm going to set these equal to each other, because we know it balances. It'll look like this. It'll be g times mass of the Earth times mass of the satellite over distance from the Earth to the satellite squared is equal to g mass of the Moon times mass of the satellite over distance from the Moon to the satellite squared. These g's are going to cancel, as well as the mass of the satellite. We're going to get the mass of the Earth over the distance from the Earth to the satellite squared is equal to the mass of the Moon over the distance to the Moon squared. Now we have to pick what we're actually solving for here. I'm just going to solve for Rm. I'll get Rm is equal to the total distance minus the distance from the Earth to the satellite. I'll then cross multiply these two. I'll get that the mass of the Earth times the distance from the Moon to the satellite squared is going to be equal to the mass of the Moon times the distance from the Earth to the satellite squared. Now I'll plug in the distance from the Moon to the satellite into this equation. I'll get that the mass of the Earth times RT minus RE, this quantity is going to be squared, it's going to be equal to the mass of the Moon times the distance from the Earth to the satellite squared. Now I want to take the square root of both of the sides. And I'll get that the square root of the mass of the Earth times RT minus RE is equal to RE times square root of mass of the Moon. Now I'm going to distribute this root ME to both of these terms. I'll get RT root ME minus RE root ME. This will be equal to Re root mm. And I'm just going to make myself some space. Now I'm going to add this Re root me to the other side. I'll write this up here. I'll get Re root mm plus Re root me will be equal to Rt root me. Now I'm going to factor this RE out. I'll get RE 
times root mm plus root me is equal to rt root me. Now I'm going to divide this term to both sides. I'll get re is equal to rt root me over root mm plus root me. Okay, now if I go back to my original equation here, I had L is equal to RE over RT. I have my RE term here, so I'll divide it by RT, and I'll get L is equal to RT root ME divided by root MM plus root ME. And this will be divided by RT. These RTs will cancel, and I'll get that L is equal to root ME over root MM plus root ME. Uh, this will give you like 0 0.90 something. Uh, when you multiply that by 100, you'll get about 90%. So that's your final answer. Thank you for watching.